Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Golden Empire Productions or Hunter here and welcome back to another video. So as you guys don't know, I just got a chameleon. This chameleon's a beautiful uh, little female, I think. And um, I decided to get her an awesome enclosure. I know I just said last video that I wasn't gonna spend $100 again, uh, but uh, I did. We can't keep this up guys. Come on, I'm gonna have to make some, I'm gonna have to make some content that's not spending money. I went out and got her this nice big chameleon kit. She's just a baby right now, but uh, hopefully she can use this for either most of her life until she gets an adult, or maybe even all of her life if she doesn't get very big. So uh, here we go. I'll show you her in a little bit. Um, right now, I'm not gonna show her too much just in case something does happen to her. I've said in the past, I don't like doing uh, videos uh, on them early on just in case something does happen because I don't wanna be like, oh, I got a super cool chameleon and then it like has something wrong with it and I get it and then it dies like two days later. So I try to keep it secretive, but right now she looks really healthy. I can't see anything wrong with her. I've never had a, a reptile just go up and die on me from a pet store. So again, I did get this animal from uh, Petco. I know I need to stop doing that. I've got like most of my animals from there. I just go in there and like, man, I have to do it. <laughs> it makes me feel so bad if I don't. This is the only girl left and oh, okay. Let's, let's, let's get into this. I'll leave this link below if you guys want it. Uh, this is a kit, meaning it comes with a lot of cool stuff in here. Um, you do have to add a lot more than just this. But, you know, it does it does work for the basics. For Well, I mean, it'll work. But if you want a little bit nicer, you have to go out and buy a few more things. Uh, I will be adding stuff to this later on, but right now I'm just going to use the necessities and show you guys how it works. So let's go ahead and rip this open. <sighs> okay, so when I first open it up, there's a couple things enclosed in this. The first thing is, uh, I'm assuming it to be some of the vines and greenery in here. Uh, also, calcium. So this kit also comes with lights. Uh, it comes with the UVB and UVA bulb, so that's cool. This honestly right here would have been about half the price of this kit, so this is awesome. By the way, you can get this kit on Amazon for just under $100. And of course, it's going to be awesome, all this awesome stuff. So I'm gonna open up this box first, just to kind of show you and tell you guys what this stuff is. Okay, so there's actually a lot of cool stuff in here. So the first thing that I see is eco carpet. Uh, you just put this in the bottom of the enclosure. It works like any other carpet or um, substrate. The next thing I see in here is hanging vine. So all you gotta do is stick this through the holes in the um, mesh, and you know you got like six foot long vine in there. I see um, some greenery with suction cups. That's not gonna work, but uh, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter. You could just use this as a. Uh, you can just put it on the vines and stuff. It comes with a digital thermometer. So it comes with a trial size of rough to safe water treatment. It comes with a trial size of vitamins, which I don't even think they listed on the thing. It actually came with a big. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be this big, but it came with repti calcium. So that's all in the white box. We all know what the lights are gonna be, but I'll unbox them anyways. Um, it came with a daytime blue 60 watt uh, UVA bulb, and of course a dual basking lamp setup, and a opened UVB bulb. <laughs> okay, so that's all in those boxes. A nice big little collection of things in my floor. And now let's get into this. This is actually gonna take some time to set up, so expect a time lapse. So it comes with quite a few panels that we'll be having to uh, set up, but looks pretty good. Uh, I don't see anything wrong with it or anything. Okay, so uh, in the next step, you are gonna need a screwdriver if you're following along with me. I'm not really sure if this is gonna work, but uh, I have this like Swiss army knife almost uh, toolkit. Uh, this is just what I use for anything that I need because I don't do anything too fancy. So I'm assuming this will work. I'm sure you can pick one of these up for uh, a few dollars on Amazon as well. I will link them below. I didn't mention, but this kit works for all chameleon types. I personally have a baby veiled chameleon. I didn't mention that, I'm sorry. But it does work for all of the other ones. They will outgrow this tank though, if you most likely get anything bigger than a veiled. But it will work when they're babies. This also works for juvenile iguanas as well. I heard this kit's actually one of the best things that you can get for them, for a couple months at least. Cause you know, by the end of their life, they're gonna be bigger than this tank. Okay, here I go. Hi. 
I'm back. I got blisters on my fingers, screws all in my floor, but I did get this done. If you can guess how long it took. Two hours. Not even playing. Not even playing. You guys might not think that's, that is a lot, but I swear I did not even look at my phone in those two hours. I did not do anything else but purely work. For one, the directions were like super, super hard to read and you couldn't really understand what they were saying. Over time, I did understand, but at first the directions made absolutely no sense at all. That wasn't even the hardest part though. The hardest part was the like 25 plus 30 probably screws that I had to put in. The holes that were inside of the cage were not big enough. I had to widen them up with my screwdriver. My new one, by the way. So the hole was this tiny to where this thing couldn't even fit in it. Not to mention the screws bigger than this. So I had to dig at it, dig at it. Once that would go in, I had to get my bigger one and screw at it and screw at it, screw at it. And then finally, I could use this. I don't know why this worked better than the regular one, but it seems like you can put more pressure on it, have more control and accuracy. When I was first putting this together, the letters didn't match. Like I didn't really focus on the letters because I figured out pretty early that they weren't gonna match up. Somehow at the end though, they did. I don't I don't really know how that works. I don't think this is necessarily Zoomed's fault, but I do think that they need to um, widen up those holes a little bit. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm really not meaning to get that triggered. I mean, come on. I mean, seriously though, this was like a $115 kit. I'm not like, I'm not screwing, I'm not making my own holes for my screws to go in. All right, so now I'm gonna decorate this and get a cool little shot like the other video. Knowing this product, it's gonna take another three hours. So I'll see you then. So I just got the thing going. Oh, he's getting crickets now. So, or she is. I just got the tank set up. Um, it took way too long to get all this mining in. It's holding him. He's mainly sticking there. Uh, he's eating now, which is awesome. He's eating, I think two now. I keep saying he, she is. But it looks okay. I mean, I will be putting a lot more vinyl and stronger vines in here for sure because yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> um, I got the probe in here. It says it's 75. I just put it in there and I just missed it. So it's probably colder than it actually is. But yeah, she's sticking up there. Um, I got some greenery in here, some vines. That's gonna be her mealworm dish and possible greens if she eats them later on. Uh, I didn't use any of the rep decalcium. I just wanted to see if she'd eat and well, she's eating just fine for me. I am gonna have to fix this though. Uh, when it's curled up like that, it's just hard to it's hard to do anything with. I'd say the whole cage setup thing took about 15 minutes and it really doesn't even look... Oh, there she just ate. I don't know if I got that on camera. Yeah, but she's eating. But um, I don't I don't really think that uh, that it's... It looks that good and I don't think it's that sturdy, but she, she climbed on it earlier and it held her weight pretty good. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I think that's just about all. <laughs> all right, so to be honest, everybody, I rate this kit a five out of 10. <laughs> um, this kit would be amazing if it was uh, the same price and you didn't have to go through all that work. It looks good. Uh, it came with those bulbs, which would cost like so much money. Um, everything that it came with, uh, yeah, it would cost a lot more money, but I think it was just about evened out with how much work you had to put in. I'm not even lying. I'd almost rather just pay extra shipping to get a fully um, built one than do that. I don't know, she's having a good time sitting up there. She seems to like it, so I guess I like it. <laughs> All I'm saying is there's gonna be a lot more stuff in this by the time I'm done with it. I just feel like this is too bland and honestly not that good. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more of my content. I'm sorry that this video was so trash. I didn't even know I was going to be making this as a video, but I might as well. I mean, shoot. <laughs> if you want to see more videos with her in there, which I don't have a name for, leave a name suggestion in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos with her, uh, leave a like and maybe in a couple weeks I'll do a taming video. Anyways, guys, I'll see you later. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I don't know if I've already said that and goodbye. Got your boy Jazzy on the beat.